another amazing adventure. We are here at Tokyo Station, which is one of the busiest transport hubs in all of Tokyo. It's where the uh, bullet trains are, it's where the metro is, the buses all stop here. And we're here at the station because we'll be taking the Shinkansen, which is the Japanese bullet train, to go to Nagoya, and then we're hopping on a local bus to take us to Takayama, which is a small town uh, in the more mountainous region of Japan, so we'll be surrounded by the Japanese Alps. This is gonna be our <laughs> first time taking the bullet train. I'm super excited. <laughs> I don't think I've taken a bullet train before. Did you uh, find out how fast this train is going to be? I only know that it's insanely fast. <laughs> <laughs> so we have about an hour until we have to board the train. So let's go find some bento boxes that we can bring on the train to eat for lunch. And find out where the, platform the train is. is. Yeah. <laughs> The bento boxes we bought were kind of premium. They look really yummy, but just right here we go to Belmart kiosk. They have like 500, 600 yen bento boxes. That's the price. That look really, really good. It's yeah. okay. Now we know. Look at them. Good portion size too. Oh, our bento boxes do look extremely yummy, so it's okay. We already have our tickets because I used an app to buy our tickets online. Um, we don't need to pick it up at the station, we can go right in with the QR codes. All good? That was easy. Yeah. I think if you were to use your JR Pass that you buy, or if you wanted to reserve your seats, you have to do it at those offices over there that has like uh, the people lining up. To pick up the ticket. Yeah, but because I downloaded this app, and we also didn't buy the JR Rail Pass because we thought it was a better deal to not use it for our trip, I just downloaded the SmartX app, and I was able to buy my tickets and have all the QR codes directly on the app, which is very convenient. Oh, ho, ho. is that our train? No, our train is not yet. Not yet, yet? This is so exciting. <laughs> Look at how pointy the nose is. <laughs> Wow, it looks like a spaceship, <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah. It's such a like, clean looking design. Yeah. Super aerodynamic. I was looking on Google Maps. To get to Nagoya by car is nine and a half hours. Oh, really? But by bullet train, it's only an hour and a half. It's almost as fast as flying. Flying is about an hour. Crazy. So it looks like the train just got here and they're changing like the, the driver. And also there are people going in to clean the train before we get to board. And we are at the end of the train here. We are car 16, seat 15D. And I chose the seat at the end, I reserved it because we have these big bags so we can put the bags right behind our seat. Because if you don't have a reserved seat and you don't have a space for your bag, you actually get fined on the train. Oh, the gate is open. Are you excited? Are you ready? <laughs> yes. <No>. Oops, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm too excited. <laughs> Wow, perfect. 
Which is storage. Yes. Nice. Good choice. Very nice. Actually, the ordinary seats are very spacious already. We didn't go for the first class because, you know, we thought we were going to spend more money on a premium bento. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it like 4,000 yen more expensive? Yeah, it was, uh, it's more expensive because like together that would be like almost $80 more. Mm -hmm. And this is, this is really nice. Look at the space we have. Look at the leg room. I can almost stretch my legs all the way. And look, there's also a table here. Lots of space. People eating their bento already. A little pocket here. Um, you can hang something here as well. You can pull these ones down. Oh, there's a button here. I don't know what the button is. <laughs> don't press it. Um, also with the chair. Oh, pretty far back. I wonder if we can go even further without the back behind. It's perfect. Oh, one more. There's a plug down here too, so you can do some work if you wanted to. Nice. We're moving. We're moving. Bye, Tokyo. Bye, Tokyo. Until next time. Off to Nagoya. We were told by our friend to book the seat on the right side of the train when you're leaving to this is an because then there's a chance you can see Mount Fuji on a on a good day it looks beautiful yeah we might be lucky These look premium, all right. That looks amazing. <laughs> I have um, Japanese omelette, fried chicken, grilled chicken, meatballs, some grilled veggies, and pickle. Mine has clams and eel, and I'm not sure what this is. Maybe mushrooms, egg, and daikon. Today's video is kindly sponsored by Get Your Guide, which is an online platform where you can book unforgettable travel experiences around the world. We have previously used them to book an amazing food tour in Malaysia and a cooking class in Vietnam, but they offer so much more than guided tours. You can also buy entry tickets to popular attractions, pre-book a SIM card or pocket Wi-Fi to be collected at the airport, and if you're considering getting a Japan Rail Pass, you can also get it on Get Your Guide. Booking a tour or service on Get Your Guide is super easy. You can check the availability right on the website, and for most tours, they have a very lenient cancellation policy as well. Get Your Guide is a great resource for anyone planning their next trip. Go to their website or download their app to browse over 60,000 curated experiences in more than 3,600 destinations worldwide. You might just find your next unforgettable experience there. So the train we booked is the Nozomi train, which is one of the fastest trains um, in Japan. And how fast are we going right now? Right now we're going about 220, mm. but at one point it hit 275. Yeah, because yeah. this train can go up to 300 kilometers. 
per hour and the reason that it can go so fast compared to some of the other ones is because it makes less stops along the way so that's why it can reach that speed do you feel motion sickness at all? a little bit <laughs> especially trying to eat yeah. at the same time yeah sort of taking a motion sickness pill I find it super smooth, like I don't feel sick at all and it's super quiet. Even when it turns, you can barely feel anything. This is pretty neat. We're in Nagoya! We have about an hour to transit, so we have to find the bus station that will take us to um, Takayama. Is our bus here? Not, <laughs> Not yet. yet. Not yet. Five minutes. This is our final leg of the trip. We're so almost there. It's about another two and a half hours on the bus. Taking a local bus is significantly cheaper than taking the bullet train. This is costing us 3,450 yen per person, which is roughly 23 US dollars each. Spacious, have a cup holder. Everything here in Japan is so nice and efficient. And the toilets are all the way in the back. This bag is a puking bag. I think it's a puking bag. If it's a puking bag, it wouldn't be transparent. <laughs> That's gross. It would be a paper bag or something. Because in Japan, a lot of places you go to, they um, tell you to take your trash home. So they recommend you bring like a little trash bag with you because you probably won't find that many garbage cans around the city. How far is the hotel? I think it's like a two to three minute walk. This feels nice. It's like a small city. You find it cooler up here? I do. We are surrounded by mountains. This is so funny. It's Relax like, Hotel. It says here, welcome to Relax Hotel, Takayama. If we are located on the second floor, we apologize for the inconvenience. We will help you carry your luggage. Press the intercom when you need it. That's so cute. We can take it up ourselves. <laughs> Look at this flight of stairs though. <laughs> it's long. <laughs> yeah. You got it? Got it. You go, girl. <laughs> that was a workout. Should I press it? No. Bye -bye. Check in, please. Oh, we can take it. That's help, it's okay. But we're gonna go for the welcome side gate first. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't miss that. Yeah, that's too good to get. Thank you, Thank you so much. Let's see what we have here. So it says like different brewery and the taste if it's sweet or dry, rich or light. What should we go for? We should do one shot of each. That's a lot. <laughs> Is it? <That's> a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I think these are um, 
these breweries are based in uh, Takayama. Oh, and we learned something uh, a couple of days ago that in Japan, sake doesn't mean yeah, sake. It sake just, mean, just means alcohol. Yeah, it just means like a spirit. So when you're talking about Japanese sake, they call it Nihonshu. Nihonshu. Kanpai. Kanpai. Wow, that's good. Mm. It's sweet and, and it's smooth. smooth. That's nice. A bestseller for 140 years. Good stuff. Okay. You sure you don't want a second one? Ah, maybe let's try just one. Come on, just one more. <laughs> This one has the longest history. Yeah, it says they've been brewing sake for 380 years. 380 years. Nice. This one's stronger. Gentle dark mm -hmm. on the palate. Nice. Let's go yeah, check out room. Yeah. Wow, the sake is so strong, I'm dizzy already. You feel it too? <laughs> I'm drunk. <laughs> You're the one who wanted to take two shots. <laughs> this is a huge room. This is beautiful. Uh, we got a working desk, big screen TV. We have a private washroom and a tub, oh, kitchen. We can even cook. They basically have everything. Look, they have pots and pans and everything. <laughs> even this the is, Japanese knife. This is really sharp. Let's go to the supermarket. Oh, and nice. And get some Wagyu beef. Oh, separate toilet. Is it a fancy one? Does it have bum warmer? Yeah, it does. It's a bum warmer and a bidet. Oh, there are a couple of things she told me. Um, here we have some coffee and tea that's included. And all the drinks in the fridge are included as well. So this was 12,450 yen per night, which is roughly $84, but it includes everything. It is two minutes away from the station, the bus station, and breakfast is included in the morning. I think it's a pretty good deal. We're gonna go enjoy our night here, and tomorrow we're gonna show you more of Takayama and make our way to the beautiful UNESCO heritage site called Shirakawa Go. As always, thank you so much for joining us on this adventure here to Takayama and we will see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. Bye! That looks so good. Thank you,